Equestrians, I'm Rosa. And I'm Hallie. And today on That's the Spirit, we're talking about our favorite holiday at the barn, Halloween! <laughs> I absolutely love Halloween. One of my favorite parts is getting dressed up with your horse. And today, we have a super easy DIY costume. Well, we're gonna dress your horse as a flower and you as a bumblebee. <laughs> Time for our DIY bumblebee costume. Here's what you're going to need. T-shirts, yellow or black, pipe cleaners, pom-poms, headbands, helmets, glue, tape, yellow if you have a black t-shirt, and black if you have a yellow t-shirt. Let's get to the DIY. Start with your tape. Make sure your shirt is completely flat. Now I have my bumblebee arms. Wait a second, bumblebees don't have arms. Well, we do. True. One of my favorite things to do on Halloween is stay home and watch spooky movies. Ooh. Did you see the episode on Spirit Riding Free about the midnight harvest hunt? I did. Tonight, we're going on a scavenger hunt to build our own scarecrows. We should try the midnight harvest hunt. We should. That would be so cool. It would. Get ready to be caught. Check it out, girl. You can have the stripes as close or as far away as you want. We just finished our Volvo t-shirts. Next step is antennas. Take two of your pipe cleaners. Boom. Take a pom-pom and just glue it right on the tip. Set it down so you can let it dry. Take your headband, wrap it around your helmet. Our antennas have dried now, so we're just gonna stick them through our headband. And make sure they're about the same length. And to make the antenna a little bit more stable, you can loop it through and then swirl it around. So it looks like our bubble wee costume is all done. We gotta make our horse costume horse now. Costume. Time for our flower horse costume. Here is what you're going to need. Some yellow felt and green felt. Scissors and foam core. You can also use cardboard or thick poster board. We got some black rope and hot glue onto our craft. We're gonna start making the petals. Fold it in half, cut like a thin arc so that it comes out like a little sunflower petal. And if you don't wanna make a sunflower, you can always alternate the colors. I have two of my petals done. They are not perfectly consistent and that's totally fine because in nature, petals aren't always the same sizes and shapes. I'm going to get started on putting the foam core on the back. With the hot glue, you always have to be super careful because it's hot. So that's how yours should look. I am going to start the leaves. Make it into thirds like so. Then you are going to cut along the side. Flip it over and then do the other. Take a petal, glue it right down. You can take the green strips and cut out little triangles to make it look like leaves, but it's totally up to you. Okay, so this is what a finished strip looks like. And then put it on your rope. You're a pro gluer, Rosa. I know I am. Flip. We're gonna do this <laughs> two more times. Sunflower with her two bumblebees. We put the leaves and the petals around his neck and tied it through the martingale. And of course, every bumblebee needs its pair of wings. They need to fly, you know? <laughs> so we got ours at a costume store, but you can make your own if you want. Now you and your horse are the perfect pair. You should only stand still and walk in your costume. You don't want to trot, canter, and do much else. But it's perfect for a photo op or for a Halloween contest. Have you ever dressed up your horse? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more DIYs for you and your horse. And if you haven't watched Spirit Riding Free on Netflix, what are you waiting for? Bye, Bye guys. guys! Happy Halloween!